you know, like there's all these sort of set doomsday right. formulas that you, and he's like, yeah, I'll figure them out. <laughs> so yeah. I t sadly, How hard though, could it be? Uh, Bob was talking about the match. Neil actually, I guess, I assume that was the match he lost. He at least lost a game where he has Laboratory Maniac, he has no cards in his library, uh -huh. he gushes to win the game, and his opponent bolts the Maniac's response, so Neil loses. He decks himself, the Maniac dies, and then Bob's like, just say go. Like, you have no cards in your library, you win on your next draw step. If nothing happens, the guy has to kill your Maniac before your draw step, then gushes a response to the lightning bolts. Yeah. And the opponent's like, oh yeah, I only had one bolt. And Neil's oh. like, oh. Yeah, that's, I mean, it's one thing to kind of know in theory how Doomsday works, but. Yes, it's like, another thing to have the practical the details, experience. Like sometimes even, you know, the, you know the strategy, right? You've got the right pile, you're all set up, but the ability to like play around their answer can, uh, can be a little tricky. Yeah, I'm, I'm jealous you guys are gonna get to watch so much vintage today. I know, you have to go home, I have don't to go, you? I have to go home, I have to go home. Flight to Seattle tomorrow for I just, I literally, and as we're, as we're getting the finals, my phone buzzes, it's like yeah. time to check in for your flight to Seattle. I'm like, oh. From New York, From while New you're York. in Philadelphia. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> so, Jeez. uh, but. You know what? We have a legacy finals. On yeah, if the this line. is fast enough, I don't think round one of vintage has ended yet. If they could finish this up in like five or ten minutes, <laughs> which 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 could happen. I know. We uh, can start with round two. I'm pretty sure we'll start with round three of vintage. I mean, I gotta tell you that the thing about playing the Omnitel deck that must be pretty sweet is you get a lot of time between rounds to rest and get food. You know, bio breaks. And right, right, right. Like you, the, you, you know, every other win we've seen from the Omnitel deck <laughs> has just been some impossibly fast. Like I'm gonna get taxi and probe you. Oh, Oh, the coast is clear, kill you. It's true. So, players are ready to go. Sweet. We're gonna send it down to the floor. We have a finals. Bob Huang playing Grixis Delver. Gurmag Angler is in the house and it's in the finals. The problem is, Emrakul the Aeon Sworn is also in the house. Yep. It's in the finals. Let's see who wins. All right, welcome to the finals of the Legacy Championships. I'm Brian David Marshall. I am joined by Randy Bueller. And we are watching Delver, Grixis Delver. Don't let the uh, tropical island fool you. One tropical island in order to <coughs> flashback one ancient grudge. Yep. I think we stick with Grixis. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with Grixis. Uh, and playing against Omnitel. Both, both players have... Uh, Four Delve cards in their deck. Cons of Tark here, even with Treasure Cruise Band in Legacy, Cons still having its impact. It's four dig through times on the Omnitel side, two dig through times, two Gurmog Anglers on Bob Wang's side. Split them up. Del Delve's a real mechanic. Ponder. I'm sure they also overlap with some number of blue cantrips, but. Only 24 brainstorms in this top eight. I think the under came in. Wow. Partially because Merfolk doesn't play them. Like, there's Merfolk. no brainstorms in the land right. stack, obviously. Right. But the Merfolk deck does not have any fetch lands, just all no, islands. In fact, in fact, the Merfolk deck really just wants to punish people for playing brainstorm. Yeah, it's got Chalice 1. By ca casting Chalice for 1, yeah. yeah. So there's your dig through time, and it flips a Delver. Delver of Secrets becomes Insectile Aberration. I mean, a, a brainstorm during upkeep helps there. Sure. I wanted for, to make sure. Get in for three. Plays and cracks a scalding tarn. Because he's gotta get he's gotta get that graveyard count up. Yeah, now the permission count's the real thing that y'all have in here. Bob Huang is on four force of will, four days, one spell pierce. That is what Ikosh Naidu has to slog his way through. And Obviously, you want to lead with the Delver because now the clock is starting. Right? And there's and there's a death rate shaman. Yeah, and Bob is perfectly willing to tap out on turn two, even if Ikosh did have, you know, City of Traders show and tell. Is he really going to do that into the threat of days for so well? So there's a brainstorm. Yeah, Ikosh even pausing over the brainstorm. Please, can I have a brainstorm? Or are you going to daze? Make me crack my fetch land or what? Lots of blue in hand. Looks like, he's got, looks like he's got most of the pieces, if not. No 
for show and tell he's yet? looking for show and tell, yeah. There's a land over on the left, right? He does have a third mana? He, he, has, he has a city of traders. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so he's set. He just needs the show and tell. Clearly, we'll crack this touch lane to shuffle away the not show and tell cards. Delver keeps chipping away. Yeah. The, the best clock in the business. It's a clock. Best turn one clock. Yeah. So yeah, shuff, shuffle away the cards I mean, from Brainstorm. In terms of a clock, though, it's not fast enough without help. Right. Like, Bob's going to have to counter some things, even without a show and tell. I mean, Akash is going to get to dig before Delver kills him, or at least attempt to dig. He's probably going to be able to find his show and tell. But can he both find it and defend it? Well, there, is that a Gitaxian Pro? It is. So we're going to find out. And Probe, Force of Will. Oh, but again, still no, still no show and tell. Pays the two life. Which actually speeds the clock up a turn. Sees Force of Will, Dig as the only blue card, and there's, what, two cards in Bob's yard? So yeah. So he's not particularly close to digging And yet. a lightning bolt. Yeah, and Vegas, he's two mana away. But Dig's also his blue card. Four cards in Ikosh's library, so he can actually play City of Traders and Dig here if he wants to. And, and defend it. With a Force of Will. He can, he can get into a fight over it. Right, which is fine. He just wants to... Yeah, I mean, he'd be very happy to have Bob pitch. Yeah, I mean, I think the question for Akash is not, do I do this into your Force of Will? It's more, when do I do it? Main phase? So, upkeep is what he decides. Well, I like upkeep. I, I, actually, no, he did it in response to Deathrite Shaman. Oh, okay. So Deathrite Shaman attempted to eat uh, instant a sorcery <laughs> in his yard. Sure. Bob is going to fight here. Uh, you kind of have to. Like, Bob doesn't know if Akash has a Force of Will. You can't let Dig resolve. Now, I, I feel you, like Akash forces back. You like, you you spend two cards to get absolutely. two cards here, right? And to know he's down to a Lightning Bolt? Absolutely. I guess I, he's probably pausing to think about what his pitch card is. This is a snap Force of Will target. You just need to find Show and Tell, and you win the game now. You've slogged through all the permission. He only had one. All right. Decides wow. the it's, other dig through time makes sense. Yep. Has no doesn't really have a graveyard at this point. So dig through time is the card that made Akash want to play this deck again. Oh yeah. Is there a show? I didn't see a show. Yeah, I didn't see one. I saw preordain. So I can see another force of will. There's a dig. Yeah, there's a Force, a Dig, a Preordain. So he's going to take the Force of Will. And the Preordain? I I'm not sure. That's what I thought I saw. No, Ponder. Right? Oh, sure. So Force of Will off the top. No blue card to go with it, though. And Bob's on four mana. It was Force of Will off the top. Yeah. Cash is on seven. Yeah, yeah, now the clock becomes very real. Oh, oh and show and tell top. off the top. Feels, there it is. <laughs> feels lucky, but to be fair, it was the eighth card down. Okay. And he had a, po a ponder to look at four more. And he's like, I'm going to cast Dig Through Time here. Yeah, Omniscience resolves. Pretty hard dig. for me to resolve. He does. I mean, look, he could whiff. He could. He doesn't have it actually one yet. He needs an Emrakul or a way to get an Emrakul. He's a Cunning Wish, it looks like. Oh, Cunning Wish can get Eladomri's Call, which can get Emrakul, so. And an Intuition. Sure. Are the two cards he's going to take here. Intuition no. gets what? A Force of Will? Whatever. Yeah, he's got it. He doesn't know what card Bob drew last turn, but what could it be, right? Yeah. So now he's going to cast Cunning Wish. Cunning Wish lets him go to his sideboard. He looks through his sideboard. He's going to take Eladomri's Call. Which is the only way he can cast it is with right. Omni Omniscience no green in play. Mana, no white mana. Yeah, but. He demonstrates that he's going to go get the Emrakul, cast the Emrakul for free, take another turn, attack. Annihilate the entire board. Yeah, annihilate the board. And that's enough for Bob 
to reach for the sideboard here yeah. and go to game two. So Omnital, one game away from being the legacy champion deck here in the hands of Akash Naidu. Deck looks good. The deck looks really good. And he's, play he's playing it really well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So what, what, what is the release the ant still on the sideboard for? Like, I understood release the ants back. It used to have the uh, the Dream Halls package. Like, you go back a year, pre-cons. You could Dream Halls, and you could do... What's the one that where you draw your entire deck? Enter the Infinite. Right. Right, you could enter the Infinite, and you could set up these release the ants loops, where you would just, like, release the ants, and you would always win the Clash, because you had Emrakul on top of your library. Right, but I guess you can still, you can still set something like that. I don't know. I mean, I get... But when does it come up? Are you like locked under some sort of prison situation? Yeah, there must be some scenario like maybe where. I'm, maybe. Can, uh, yeah, I'm not. I guess there's some, but I don't even know how you get Emrakul onto the top of your yeah, library to always win the clash. I don't know. You release the AI. Yeah, release the ads used to be a more central part of the loop yeah. back when it was Enter the Infinite, Dream Halls. Yeah, maybe it's just a you know stamp of you know a little it's a, a, a vestigial little or organ. Yeah, a little fleur de lis on the. <laughs> more like an appendix. Or... <laughs> Um, so what, what do you think happens here, sideboard-wise? Uh, release the ants lets you win at instant speed. Sure. That's what the chat is saying. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'll buy that. So, uh, Vendillion Click comes in for Bob. Yeah. Surgical Extraction. We've seen that come sure, in. Sure, sure. Multiple times. Cabal Therapy, Cabal probably, Therapy. Too. Yeah. So, he's, Pyroblast. Playing, he's playing Grixis Wow, Delver with he's no loaded. Playing with the Young Pyromancer, and we've seen a lot of these decks running the Cabal Therapy main alongside Young Pyromancer. Uh, that's something Bob has to side into. What does he take out to make room for that? Yeah, he, uh... Interesting. I mean, he has a lot of cards to bring in, right? He does. So he has three Pyroblasts, well, four Cabal Therapies, two Surgical Extractions, and a, and a Vendillion Click. His Lightning Bolts don't do anything. Sure. His Fork Bolt doesn't do anything. So there's five. And then, you know, now you've got cards like, are you really going to get, is Grimag Angler really going to be a thing? Sure. It does seem like he has a lot in the sideboard, though. I, mean, I, I got to assume this is a Cabal Therapy matchup. Right. And maybe. obviously it's a Pyroblast matchup. That's seven. Right, you can also take out the Death Ray Charms if you're going to rely on your pirate, young Pyromancers as your, yeah. as your win that condition, sounds right. right? Yeah, we've seen those decks where they're just like looking to just go wide with the young Pyromancer tokens and just attack over a couple of turns and just continue to attack your hand and your, uh, you know, with, with the Cabal Therapies. Now, what do you think happens here for Akash Naidu? Now, does he know maybe that these young pyromancers are coming? Does he think about something like Pyroclasm? Pyroclasm's not bad here. What are you uh, casting it off the volcanic? Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. It's kind of like trickery, too, which can clean up young pyromancer and all the stuff. That one's instant speed, though, so I think you leave it in the sideboard to Cunning Wish for in a sure, pinch. Sure, sure. The Flusterstorm, probably? Well, I mean, the Flusterstorm's decent, but again, it's one of these things where you have a Cunning Wish plan. So it's like you don't really want to bring in your sweet one of instance, because now you only have one copy of them in right. your deck. Right, right. You'd rather have the four copies with all the Cunning Wishes that can go get them. Well, three Cunning Wishes, anyway. I don't know what he has that's bad. Yeah, he just wants... You, you almost feel like this is a deck that wants to stay lean and focused. Right. And just like, kind of like, I have two chances to just get the nut draw on you and win. Right. I think the I'm Pyroclasm game. might be the card you bring in. I mean, I, it's in the sideboard. Why would it be in the sideboard if you weren't bringing it in here? Right. Because it can buy you so many turns. I assume, but I mean, there are no cards in this main deck that he needs to take out. It's just a question of what does he want to take out. Right. Players are drawing up their opening sevens here. And we're getting ready for game two. Akash Naidu with Omnital is up one game over Bob Wang playing Grixis Delver. Bob is on the play, and we're underway. Awesome. Both players kept. And Death Rite Shaman on turn one for Bob Wang. Apparently that's not what you sideboard out. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, again, I don't even know if he's bringing in that pack. He may have a different plan.
preordain. Does he have the turn two? Yes, he has, city he has, show. Is there an omniscience in there? No, I don't think there's an omniscience in there. I don't see there. one either. So he's scrying two here, deciding. Did he top top? No, he top bottom. Top bottom, okay. Orson Will, always a good happy card to see from the Delver side. We talked about how uh, earlier, how Gamble is such an aptly named card. <laughs> and uh, Ponder, same thing. Yeah, like, sure. you know, very well named. All right, what do you got? Get taxi and probe from Bob Wang. This could mean that there's a cabal therapy in his future. Shows him brainstorm. Show and tell. Show and tell. Two pre preordains. Two preordains and a force of will. Interesting. If he does have Cabal Therapy, it's almost it's kind of an interesting question whether you would want to name Preordain to get two copies or name Show and Tell because it's a required part of the combo. I'd probably name Preordain. Actually, I'd probably sack the Deathrite Shaman to get the other one as well. <laughs> I don't know that he actually has the Cabal Therapy though. Do you think that it's possible he didn't bring them in? It's possible. Acts with Deathrite Shaman, plays Volcanic Island, and he has a, what's it, a Pyroblast up? Yeah. There is Emrakul. Interesting. All he needs is Omniscience and, he he, also, and then enough permission I mean, to get his stuff just, to resolve. He can also just show and tell it into play. Yeah, show and tell straight the, uh, sure, you're right. Doesn't get the time walk trigger this way. It's also nice that Bob Wang has to decide Am I going to Pyroblast this? You kind of have to, right? Yes. Okay, Pyroblast that. Force back. Force, yeah. I think. Make him show you a Force of Will. You're going to have to... These forces are going to trade at some point. Right. It's good. And if, and, if, and if you win this battle, you probably win this game. Probably. So, pitchers of Preordain to Force of Will. Forces back. But days. Oh! Wow. And days wins the fight. Did not notice the days. That's insane. Oh, in fact, he pondered into the days, but not the Force of Will. Wow. And then Wasteland takes out the City of Traitors. Wow, Bob Wang on that ponder. I saw the Force of Will and I assumed he would set it up to draw Force of Will. He didn't. He drew the days off the ponder. And then Death Rite. Really well scripted by Bob. Totally saw that turn two scenario as a live possibility and was ready for it. Death Rite Shaman eats the Force of Will out of the graveyard. Yeah, he wouldn't have had a blue card for the Force of Will anyway. But wow. What a daze. That's bottom bottom. Oh, he's in trouble now. Like he used up a show and tell. He used up a force of will. But really now now he's just digging for the but he digs for the show and tell again. Sure. He yeah, it doesn't that. actually need the omniscience given that he has the Amber Pool. And Bob's clock's not exactly fast. There's right. no Delver this game. Right. So he's Akash just, has more time. He's just nibbling away with Deathrite Shaman, removing the instant from the jar here. <laughs> Still no, uh, no blue card to go with the Force of Will for Bob Wang. He's actually defenseless right now. Show and tell is lethal. Uh, it looks like, a, is that a dig through time in hand? 
Pond, uh, yeah, I mean, he's got a lot of card selection. It's like yep. ponder, ponder. He's actually able to uh, keep some Delve food around despite that death rate, Shaman. Yeah, it gives you an idea of the velocity of this deck. And fetch lands to reshuffle. Gets the, the volcanic. Yeah. So it's probably a pyroclasm in his deck. He knows that whatever wastelands, the Bob doesn't have a wasteland now. It would be in play. Mildly risky, right? It means the top deck yeah. wasteland takes him off of show and tell mana. But he is going to be able to ponder twice here if he wants yeah. to. Can't quite. Yeah. Ponder. Well, he's got Ponder and Brainstorm, right? Still. Bad news for Bob if he keeps these on top. He does. Gains. Oh no, I'm sorry, it's another still ponder. ponder. Sorry, it's still ponder, yeah. Keeps those on top. Looks like a cunning, cunning wish. What are you up to, Akash Naidu? Do we have a blue card now for the Force Well? Is that in Delver's Secrets? Uh, we do have a blue card. I think it's Delver. Yeah, it looks like Delver. Oh, and a Wasteland. Wow. Interesting. Did he decline to play a land last turn? He may have. Or was last turn wasn't the wasteland your city of traders turn right? That was two turns ago. I mean, Akash has yeah. Akash has played so many cards. To start right, right, certain. But yeah, wasteland your city dropped into two lands. I think Bob may have been slow rolling land drops. Sand, sandbagging the wasteland. Sand a sandbagging the wasteland, which is going to work out brilliantly here because he essentially tricked Akash into uh, fetching a non basic. But in addition. Bob wanted a grip full of cards to look threatening. Sure. And in fact, was just holding land. Players are going over something with the judges here. Oh, they, they think they maybe Akash played an extra, played land. An extra land. Yeah, if I don't, I think Wasteland for, if Wasteland for City of Traders was last turn, then he did, but it wasn't. I thought it was two turns ago. Well, it certainly looks like two turns ago on <laughs> yeah. On two lands in play. I thought Bob took a turn to not play a land. I mean, he clearly has two lands in his hand. We're, we're good. They, everything's they, fine? Everything's fine. <laughs> everything's fine. Yeah. All right, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm still going to wasteland. Is he going to play this Delver instead of holding it with Force of Will? Wow. Wow, he decides he has to press his luck here. Crazy. And decides to get in for one. Oh, he top decked the Pyroclasm. The very turn after the volcanic island gets wastelanded, wow. Akash draws his pyroclasm. Now, did he put that there with a with a ponder preordain? He did.
Yeah. He's got how many volcanics? Two, two volcanic islands. Yeah, one more you can go get. You know, I mean, he has flooded strands and polluted deltas yeah, course, and scalding tarns. He has, you know, virtually 11 or 12 of them in his deck. And there, there is a polluted delta. And a flooded tarn. Okay. Wow, this pyroclasm looks insane right here. Bob committed the Delver. So you get the Delver and the Deathrite Shaman. Bob Wang is down to what? Land, land, force of will? Yep. Wow, look at that. And Akash and I do set up to delve for days here with Dig Through Time. Yeah, and he's got 11 life left. Right, there's now zero clock and 11 life. Draws blue card, I think. Yeah, he's got to get taxi and probe. Was that show and tell? It is. It is show and tell. Now, how much bet does Akash have? Yeah, he needs to wait for a protection, right? Oh, you can taxi and probe you. We just do a second probe. <laughs> so we see dig through dig, time. Dig, yeah. dig, Wow. Yeah, Akash decided to uh, pick a fight on Bob's end step with dig through time. Bob now sees that's bait. Like this end step dig through time is not the thing to counter because he already has show and tell Emrakul. Rainstorm. Saw a young pyro, a dig, and I think a wasteland? Yeah. back that he can just shuffle away if he wants. He's still got that delta up. Yeah, Wasteland does take a Akash off of uh, Show and Tell mana, but Dig Through Time can take a land. Yeah. But Dig Through Time might have to take a land if Bob keeps this Wasteland. Which it looks like Bob's gonna do. So he's got Force of Will, Dig, he's gonna waste the Volcanic, and he's got Cataxian Probe. Yep. So Bob can now dig with Force of Will back up, right? Uh, Akash tasks his Volcanic for blue. He wants to dig while he can still pay for any days that might have turned up on that brainstorm. I would assume Bob is gonna dig as a response. Yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely what it looks like here. He goes and gets another volcanic island. Yeah, the Pirate Classic was good, but it also cost Akash two land drops, right? It turned on the wastelands. Oh, yeah. Is that worth it? <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. Maybe? It's unclear. So, this dig is going to resolve first. Yeah, Akash is not fighting the dig. I don't think he can he fight anything with this. Oh, he doesn't have Force of Will, right? No. Right, right. Yeah, no, his plan is to bait out Bob's permission with his di two dig through times. Wow, Force of Will, Days, Spell Pierce. Pierce doesn't do anything given that Bob's tapped out. Days does, like, take Days Force of Will, right? There's a Pyroblast. But I mean, I think your biggest fear is that Akash is going to go for it on his turn. If you take Day's Force of Will, you and can force the dig and, and still, still have Force of Will. He still has Force Probe in hand. Right. Yeah, I think I take Day's Force of Will and then force the dig that's on the stack. Pitching Probe. Right. Then you've got Day's Force of Will going to Akash's turn. No. Where even the Day's is, might be good enough. It looks like he has gone, taken the long view here. What did he take? It looks like he kept Pyroblast. He did take days. Oh, Pyroblast and days, okay. And now he's gonna pitch Gitaxian Probe to Force of Will. Wow. So he took Pyroblast instead of Force of Will. 
City of Traders destroys him here. But, yeah, no land off the top for Akash. Wow, if I'm Akash, I probably dig here while my opponent is tapped out, but you're going to get blown out by days. Instead, he's, gonna he's not going to do it. He's going to ponder. Yeah. Reasonable. This also lets him potentially dig. If he gets a land. He kept them. He's like, what are you? What, what, what are you? Got it. What did you keep? Aha. Aha. I see. So sees the blast, sees the daze, knows what he has to play around now. I think he drew City of Traders there. Yeah, he did. It probed, the probe information is super valuable. Declines to play the City of Traders. Yeah. Pyroblast, but Pyroblast okay. is dead now. There are no volcanics there are, left. There are They're no out. volcanics left. He, he cannot cast a red spell. So he sideboarded in two red cards. One Pyroblast, one Pyroclasm. Yeah, okay. Here's Dig with two mana available to pay for days. Does Bob Wang want to use a Pyroblast on this? I mean, I think Akash is happy either way, honestly. Yes. He, he, he kind of has to, doesn't he? I think you have to pyroblast this. I mean, it's going to find two good cards. Yeah, it lets it go. He has to hope for a whiff. He has seen the show and tell, right? We get taxi and probe. He knows their show in Emrakul, so. <coughs> His pyroblast is eyeing that show and tell. Can Akash gonna... stop him? There's no force of will there for now, for now I do. True. Kosh Naidu's up a game here. He wins this. He is the legacy champion. Indeed. Looks like he's taking Island and something else. Passes the turn. Kosh ponders. Finds himself a Force of Will and a Delver there on top, as well as a Young Pyromancer. Feels like the Young Pyromancer window is closed on this a little bit. I mean, it's still clocked. It's just not nearly as good a clock as Delver. Yeah, you take Force of Will. You've got a, you've got the days as a blue card. Yeah, in I mean, Kosh is down to nine here. Right. I think you stack Force of Will, Delver, Young Pyro. Draw the Force now. Gives him the ability to counter twice on Akasha's turn. That's what he's done. Yep. Okay. So he plays show and tell. He gets pyroblasted and he passes the turn. And that cost him a city of traders because he would get yep. an island to do it. Players just kind of panting at this point, yeah. like kind of like in a, in a clinch in the middle of the ring, you know, just waiting to get a little bit of wind here so they can finish this fight. has a spell pierce now to defend himself with. Yes. But the game's gone long enough that the Delver deck actually has four lands in play. He's looking through his graveyard to see what's exile. I mean, looking through his exile mm -hmm. zone to see what's gone. I 
have to assume that this game just goes, the longer it goes, the more it swings in, in Akasha's favor with four dig through times in his list versus the two dig through times in Bob's list. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, Akash does raw fetch land. No volcanics left though. Yeah, no. There's... Red, red cards are dead for him. How many islands does he have? He's got one more. Is that a Vendillion click? I believe so. End of turn. He's like, sure. Interesting. Yep. Oh, right. He can't Pyroblast it. He right. would happily have Pyroblasted it if he could. But no red mana. So you push Emrakul to the bottom here, right? Yes. Yeah, totally. What's the blue card between the Pyroblast and the Emrakul? Oh, I guess it was Show and Tell. Was that Show and Tell? Oh, wow, okay. Wow, it was Show and Tell. Yeah, he's like, you're not doing anything with an Emrakul in your hand without a Show and Tell. Yeah, yeah, no. If I didn't realize it was a Show and Tell. Yeah. I would push Emrakul yes. without a Show there, but if the Show's in, in town... And now suddenly there's a clock? For, yeah. for Bob Wang? Yeah, I like Bob's chances from here a lot. Yeah, he's maneuvered things where he's got a Force of Will. He's got a Daze, which Akash knows about, so it's not probably not going to be anything better than a blue card for Force of Will, but still. Gets Akash will... down to six. He only needs two turns. I don't see how Akash stitches this together from here. And now he has to break his fetch land, hope to get Emrakul to the top. And and Delver's threatening to win it next turn. Yeah. Hard for the turn. And yeah, he doesn't have any. He, there's no, nothing left in his deck. He drew the. He did. Did draw fetch land? I, I think, think he drew he, fetch land. There's yeah. literally no lands left to fetch out of his deck. To hit that point of the game. Delver fails to flip, so Akash gets one more turn. Dig through time. <laughs> hey, I don't know where this goes. He has to find like a city of traders. To have a chance? Yes. Like City of Traders, Force Pitching Days. Now you can spend your last mana on a Spell Pierce? Yeah, none of this works. I don't know what two cards can get him out of this. And even putting Emrakul into play isn't good enough. No, no. You actually lose to Emrakul in play. If he has Omniscience in his hand, oh, okay. he does now have uh, So, putting Emrakul into play via Omniscience is good, so yes. finding a show is potentially good. He did find the City of Traders, but yeah. Does not have the show and tell. Now he has the show and tell. But now he doesn't have the Yeah, he knows he's playing against Day's Force of Will, and he doesn't have the blue mana left over for his own Spell Pierce, because he's out of lands. Wow. Like, he's literally out of lands. Yeah, going through the motions, but right. Days is the ball game. Force of Will would also have done it. Right. Well, maybe he, maybe he was hoping, you know, Bob would be like, okay, yeah, you can have an Emrakul. I'm just gonna kill you anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you go through the motions there. But you're basically. He needed Bob to make a mistake there at the end. Right. It's just there was no <laughs> scenario he could actually stitch together and have have a path toward victory. All right. Well, we are gonna get a game three. Now, do you, does, it doesn't look like Bob brought in the Cabal Therapy. I agree. It does not look like Bob brought in Cabal Therapy. I, do you, I, it feels to me like... I am surprised I, It feels to me like that card's very good in this I don't, I, I don't play Legacy other than yeah. casually with some friends once in a while, right. so I don't know. But I, 
I, it feels like that card is huge. You saw how much that game uh, just revolved around known information. Mm -hmm. And if you have the ability to now, now like imagine if, if he draws Cabal Therapy at any point in that game, he knows what was in. He, he knew he knew cards that were in his hand yeah. all the time. Right. And there was a turn where he could have gone with the Death Rite Shaman if he'd had Cabal Therapy, could have named Preordain and I believe it was Show and Tell yep. or one of one of the other cards. Could have just stripped his hand of all relevant cards. It's tough so, though, like. You need enough threats, right? Right. He wants the death rites and the delvers in order to be able to attack for damage and actually sure. end the game. You need all the permission. There are more cards. You know, he wants his pyroblasts. <laughs> I think Bob just has more than sixty cards he wants to play. Sure. And so he's got to decide. Okay, I took out my bolts and my fork bolt. That's five. That gets me three pyroblasts and a Vendillion click. He clearly brought in. Right. You know, I don't know what one other card he brought in. Maybe it was... Could have brought in a surgical extraction. Could have. There could be, like, one Cabal Therapy floating around his list. Sure, sure. I don't know. I think the Angler... Maybe he never drew them. It's like possible. The Anglers have to come out here, right? <laughs> I mean, I guess they don't have to. They survive Pyroclasm. That's yeah. a thing. Yeah. One mana, five fives? I mean, Death Rite's a great card. I don't know how good Death Rite Shaman is here. I feel like Cabal Therapy might be more relevant. I, that, that's, that was what I thought when I was looking at the, the list and sideboard. I've just yeah. been in love with Cabal Therapy for I, the last couple am, months, though. So, yeah, ever since watching Ole and Magnus play that deck at, in Vintage at in the, the Magic Mox. Online Championship, I fell, fell in love with the young Pyromancer Cabal Therapy interaction. Gitaxian Pro, yeah. And Gitaxian Pro, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, it's all, all, all of them playing together in right. one. Any two of them is awesome. Utterly demoralizing combination. Yeah, I'm gonna have this like army of creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just completely take apart your hand. I drew an extra card from the Gitaxian. <laughs> so we are gonna get a game three. Akash will be on the play. That helps. And that game two was pretty interesting because remember, Akash went for it on turn two. Right. Right. He went for City of Traders and to turn two show and tell with Force of Will backup. Right. Like, turn two show for Emrakul with Force of Will backup. Bob said, no, sir. Right. Countered right. twice for only two cards. The daze was insane. Yeah, the daze was unbelievable. And then Akash still managed to almost stitch it together a couple of times, but Bob was able to stay one counter ahead for most of the game. Pyroclasm swept the board, buying Akash a bunch of turns. That was a sort of long and interesting game. It is weird with these fetch lane mana bases. Like you do sometimes hit the point where you're just like, I have no lands left to go I get. Yeah. I only have six lands to tap for mana. And I mean six fetchable lands. Is that is that true for two volcanics and four islands? <laughs> then there's I mean there's the three city of traders that also tap for mana, but that's a, that's I not did, unusual. I didn't it was that it's six. Discreet a number of <laughs> Welcome to Legacy. Man, and producer. Oh my gosh. I mean, how many does Bob have? I was just wondering that. I was like, Three volcanics, two undergrounds, and a trop. Six. And then the four wastelands, which can theoretically. Right, but I mean, you have all your fetch lands to go get six lands. Right. I guess he's only got eight fetches to his all six. Right. We're underway. Here's a Gitaxian probe. It sees a hand with Young Pyromancer, Spell Pierce, Ponder, another blue card that I that I know isn't Force of Will, but I can't tell what it is. Is it a Gitaxian probe? Yeah. It's a Gitaxian yeah. probe. It's not the most exciting hand for Bob Wang. He's basically on the draw with only Spell Pierce to protect himself with. Emrakul is in hand There's for There's two Emrakuls in hand oh, for Akash. Oh, yeah, the second one's not very good. Fortunately, they can get brainstormed away. Yeah. Bob Wayne plays Maybe Bob will do us a favor and let us see Akash's I, I, hand. I think, he is, I think he's got it. He, he certainly wants to know. True force of will, by the way. It was a nice draw step. <laughs> wow. A daze as well. So just an utterly demoralizing couple of card draws here for him. Chooses not to probe. 
force the will for Akash. Brainstorm. So now he's going to be able to brainstorm away at least one of those. You, you want one of them. Emeralds. See the omniscience at hand. Basically, Akash has the whole combo. Nice. But he needs to get through Bob's perimeter. Sure. I mean, I think Bob should Young Pyromancer here, right? He can play Young Pyromancer to get a clock started. He can get Taxi and Probe now that the Young Pyromancer is in play and it makes an elemental token. He's got that, that's both. why he didn't probe earlier. Yeah, also the more information. But yeah, I think the Young Pyro, you, if you can wait, obviously you turn a nice profit. And so this is exactly how he's going to play it. Right. And Bob, I mean, he's, he's okay with tapping out here because he has both a Force of Will and a Daze. So, so he doesn't need that Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce, Show and Tell, Polluted Delta, Dig Through Time, Force of Will, Omniscience. Yeah, so it's, it's a turn three show for Omniscience with Force of Will backup. Does not have Spell Pierce back up and cannot pay for a daze. So I don't know if Akash goes for this on turn. He might go for it while his opponent is tapped out, especially since he knows there's a Spell Pierce in Bob's hand, right? Right. Now, does he know that Bob would not tap down below Spell Pierce mana without having drawn some free counters? <laughs> Probes again. I mean, you've got one Force of Will. Yeah, I think I think Akash should go for this. It's not going to work, but it makes sense that he would go for it. He's got a Force of Will backup. It's just like go, game two. Is he going to go for another probe here? <laughs> yeah. Just fire it off, make three tokens. Uh, the only reason he might not is if he wants that to be his blue card to pitch to Force of Will. Sure. Like if he want, otherwise he's pitching the Pierce. Yeah, I mean, I think if you're playing Omnitel and you've got show for the win with Force of Will backup. I don't think you wait a turn. Doesn't even have the fourth land. Doesn't even have, does he have dig mana? He plays no. the third land and sacks two fetch lands. He's one short. No, I think his plan with the dig is to dig off of Omniscient he, he might be shuffling away to. Well, sure, but if you can use dig to bait your opponent's permission, that's kind of nice. I think he's one short of an end step dig. Oh, no, maybe he's not. He can pay three and have five cards in the yard. No, it's pay three, have four cards in the yard. He's all short. Okay, here's upkeep fetch because he doesn't want to draw the cards he brainstormed back. Which are both Emrakul. He's shuffling away two Emrakuls there. Wow. Man, those first couple of draw steps from Bob. Akash saw his hand on turn one, <laughs> and all it had to defend itself with was a Spell Pierce. I, yeah, if I'm Akash, I'm feeling pretty good about show with Force Backup. Draws a dig through time. Doesn't really have another line. Yeah, this fetch would be one short of digging, so... Show with Force of Will Backup! This should be it! Wow. And there's a clock on the other side too. It's not like you can afford to wait to try to draw a land to be able to uh, pay for any top days that's been top decks in the last couple draw steps. All right. Yeah, Going he goes for it. for it. Show and tell. Oh, why don't you pay one more? Urgh, why'd you have to top deck that? But hey, at least I've got this force of will. Bob Huang says, oh, I didn't just top deck a day, sir. <laughs> I've had a couple of draw steps and a couple of Gitaxian probes. And a ponder. I have a force of And I found this force of Wow. Yeah, he held the probe. So he's still got a pierce and a pyroblast for later. Combo fended off. Four elementals and a young pyro are going to clean this game up pretty quickly. And now Bob can just sit behind Pyroblast. And did he just draw another Force of Will? He did. Oh my goodness. He's got a Pierce, a Pyro, 
and now a force of will. Although, to be fair, the Pierce is his blue card. Wasteland's the red source. Oh, he's got like you, everything. He's like, you can't pirate class at me here. That is unacceptable. Grix is Delver, ladies and gentlemen. And Bob Wang. Interesting. So do you let Dig Through Time just resolve here? No. No, I pyroblast it. Keeping force with a blue card. Okay, that's what he does. He even gets an elemental token. If he remembers. Yeah, seven. Five tokens and a young pyro. Akash has to go has to win next turn. And he can't. Bob's still got a force of will left. Crazy. What a game. Bob Wang, ladies and gentlemen. Looking like your legacy champion for 2015. Kosh draws. I think he drew a show. He's, he drew a show, but there's yeah. nothing he can get. Yeah. And it's like, wow, you still have wow. a force of will. Bob Huang, Rix's Delver, is your legacy champion. Gurmag Angler has a trophy, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so does Dig Through Time. <laughs> well, yeah, Dig Through Time. Wow. Two Dig Through Time decks yeah, met in the finals. Totally. Dig Through Time backed up <laughs> with Gurmag Angler and Young Pyromancer. Just okay. a card that has just been outstanding in the eternal format. Oh, yeah. He could totally sweep the weekend. The card's very capable of sweeping the weekend. Yeah. I mean, you can actually see that. Archetypes with the weekend. You could. You totally could. I mean, it, it is, it is, it's, it's a, we've seen it win a vintage event. Very, granted, it was a very small field at the Magic Online Championship. Sure. But that was, that was the top also dog standing. Vintage Super and League the Vintage Season Super 3. League, yeah. So, uh, this is, it's very well a deck that we could see. Ooh, that would be, that would be a quite the story for young Pyraman <laughs> this weekend. Wow. Bob playing. I think we're going to get Bob, uh, to come on over. Awesome. We're going to talk to him for a couple minutes. And then you know what's next? You, Vintage. Oh, so good. Still in the semis of, uh, they, they are in the second round of Vintage right now. And I believe, oh, did they get to the semis of the WMCQ? When I walked away, Oh, Steve Rubin's still playing his quarterfinal match? Or semifinal no, no, match? Should be over by now. Who, okay. who uh, made the uh, semis? Boswell and... Uh, Andrew Boswell Craig won, Westco it sounds won. like. Craig Wesco won his match, okay. And... Uh, Matt Costa did not, Matt Costa did not right? Yeah, we kind of had four Pro Tour regulars paired against four not Pro Tour regulars. Maybe, maybe slightly charitable to describe Costa as a Pro Tour regular at this uh, point. Maybe more of an occasional, he was, but he was. Uh, yeah, he, he's he's, very good. he stepped away. He's been focusing. He on chose to a step. Bit. Yeah, 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 he chose to step away and yeah. lost his uh, lost his gold status. But but he's also choosing to try to step back into it pretty aggressively right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Boswell's not exactly yeah. a regular. Regular on the open circuit, he's, he's, he's putting up results. But Boswell's getting there. He's stringing he, together. He's a about to be a pro tour regular, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Strung together a couple. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't have the invites, but everybody fully expects him to get them. So, you know, it takes a little while to pry Bob from, you know, the, off the shoulders of all his friends who are, you know, hoisting him up right now. But we're we're gonna get him uh, over here as soon as we can. And then wow. vintage, yeah, yeah. We'll get to vintage for round three. Sounds like. Wow, what? That was just three Grixis Delver decks in the top eight. So that was really the, the, the kind of expected result. <laughs> He's actually humming. No, 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 come around this way. Around You're not getting, way. you don't get to direct the show. <laughs> oh, yeah. no, I so. Bring a chair. Pull like that nothing. chair over. You can bring it down right now. <laughs> I feel yeah. magnificent. You were, you were actually nice humming as you walked over Bob Wang, legacy champion. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy right now. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, unbelievable. I like, I like, I wasn't even like that excited about this tournament. Like part of me like didn't want to come. Like the big reason I came was to play vintage. Um, so I still have that ahead of me, but I'm so happy right now. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, the, you get two buys for Vintage, right? Uh, you get I don't two know. buys. I get, to, I get to go play whenever uh, this interview's over, so take as long as you need. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. They just started round two. I don't okay, think we okay. can get into round three timeline. Uh, so I mean, we we'll, can we'll re, we can we'll filibuster. We can filibuster yeah, yeah, him into round three. But then we won't be watching. Yeah, vintage. no, no, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I mean, yeah. as much as it's nice to talk to you, tell us about that final from your perspective. Like, uh, what was? How were you thinking? So through? You, you guys saw the whole first game, I assume. Yeah, yeah. I think I punted that because. 
Um, so I think I was right to play the Delver in turn one, brainstorm to flip it, and then I fetched the wrong land. I ended up fetching an underground sea. Yep. Um, hold on, let me think. What was it exactly? Well, okay, I think I fetched, and I could have been able to have a drop, a C, and a Volk in play all at the same time. Instead, the way I did it, I ended up needing to get two Cs, so the Bolt was stranded in my hand. So, when he won, he was at seven. If yeah. I'd been able to cast the Bolt, he would have been at four. And if I didn't exile his thing from Dick Through Time, if I exiled mine thing, he would have been at two. And then I think I would have had it. Uh, I'll have to go back and rewatch to be sure, but I think I might have punted it. And so, like, all during game two, like, my back was on the ropes. <laughs> I was like, I was like, well, I'm not winning. And I, like, kept kind of a sketchy one, but I never mulligan. So it's like, uh, okay. <laughs> I kept, it was kind you're of sketchy. You're one of, you're one like of those? Double Wasteland, which, like, could be good or bad. It ended up being great. Cut, out, cut him off from red. Um, and, yeah. like, Death Right Ponder, Definitely and I, like, was just banking on the ponder and but there are definitely parts of that game is like he has like two dig through times and a show and tell like what am i gonna do uh and i somehow got it through what? So bob what do you win for winning the legacy championships i win a piece of giant cardboard oh nice got you a present <laughs> uh, oh my gosh <laughs> Congratulations on a great weekend, by the way. We split, so he's walking away with three grand. It's not the worst. <laughs> it's not bad. He's, he's, he's got a nice consolation prize. Yeah. So, yeah. talk me through that uh, at, at game three. You keep a hand with only a spell pierce to defend yourself with, right? And then, I guess it was a, a ponder. Like, when did you know you were actually going to win that game? Is, is it, it was, the It was the turn I cast Pyromance. It was turn two, really. Mm -hmm. um, well, okay, that's not true exactly. So I, I cast the Pyromancer. Uh, you know, against Omnitel, I always like being aggressive. Like if you yeah. give them too much time, like it didn't, it's just like not good. Um, so I broke and I saw his hand, and I saw that I had Day's Force. Yeah. And he had Force, so I had two counters with one counter. So I knew I was good, unless he drew a City of Traders, and then my Days would be turned off. So if he didn't draw it that turn, I was good because I was going to untap with like multiple counters. Right, right, right. Um, so. Once he like played the Delta, then I knew. So what are you playing in Vintage? I'm playing, <laughs> I joined the Dark Army of Mishra. Oh uh, no! Yeah, you're not gonna see me casting blue spells. Oh, I like, it's like a nice change of pace. Like I've always been casting blue spells, and like okay. secrets. And like, I don't really have high expectations for Vintage. I'm here to just like have a good time, you know? I have like kind of like changed perspective because uh, <laughs> you know, I went to the Pro Tour and like got my ass kind of like beat. So it's like, <laughs> now I'm just kind of playing to have fun. Okay. Uh, but I guess I'm cute for a Pro Tour. Is that true? Is that true? Uh, were, you, were you... Don't you win? Don't you queue for the PT by winning this because it's a series? Uh, oh, they I took that news rule. I don't know I don't, if that has kicked in yet. I don't know if I don't know okay, if and, well. I don't know if there's any clarity on that at all. Why well, know they definitely announced that yeah, big weekend open right. series events are now eligible to get Pro Tour invites. I don't know if they have put one on this one, one yet. Okay. I don't. Th I didn't read that they had. Yeah. Uh, somewhere I did, but it was like Reddit, so it was like. <laughs> <laughs> It makes sense that in the future they probably should do that. that. But yeah, I'm sure I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. You know, maybe if you win both of them, they'll <laughs> yeah, <like. laughs> they'll, they'll uh, shine kindly on you. Uh, you no, know, no temptation to go Grixis Delver in in both Just formats. Run it back. Throw in a couple boxes um, and a lotus. Yeah, I mean, like my other strategy in vintage is to play what Rich Shea tells me to play. Mm. Okay. I've only played two vintage tournaments, but I've done really, really well. Okay. So, Well, Bob Wayne, congratulations again. You're a legacy champion. Great job. You know, you'll be defending the title next year. You know, it'll be a great job. Enjoy your artwork for as long as you uh, have it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Dick. Yeah. All right. So that's the legacy championships for Bob Wang, Randy Bueller, Brian David Marshall. We're signing off, but we're going to be coming right back as soon as round three of the vintage championships here at Eternal Weekend get started. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be doing this late into evening tonight.